Selling life insurance and or final expense insurance remotely is actually not very difficult, guys. Today, I'm going to lay down some of the groundwork that you're going to need to do in order to be a prosperous and successful digital insurance agent, including how to make a presentation, how to prepare yourself for your very first day, the best type of leads for remote final expense sales, and having the right insurance carriers without overloading yourself and also how much money you should have put away to start your insurance business. And if you'll stick around until the end of this video, I'm going to show you how to get a copy of the free new agent telesales kit, which has lots of sales materials that you're absolutely going to want to use and going to need in order to be successful at final expense telesales. There are some very important things that absolutely need to be addressed in your remote final expense sales presentation. First off, you only have a few seconds to sound professional and get the prospect's attention. I like to start with a warm hello and immediately point out who I am and how I'm calling to get them the information that they requested. If you're using a remote sales platform, you know, similar to the one that our insurance agents use, this is going to be easy because in most cases, by the time you're actually on the phone with the prospect, you've already been texting with the client. You know, they've already seen your photo. They know your name and they're expecting your call. Second, it's important to address the need for the insurance by finding out exactly why they're looking into the insurance and who the beneficiary will be. Third, make sure to share with them the difference between whole life insurance, term life insurance, and if necessary, you can get into universal life insurance. Fourth, you're gonna need to do the field underwriting by finding out exactly what their ailments are and what medications that they've been taking over the past few years. And fifth, once you know what carrier you're going to be using with that client, don't be afraid to talk about the company. The idea is to build value in the product that, you know, that they're about to purchase so that they feel like this isn't, you know, just another insurance company. This is also when you're going to explain like how you're an insurance broker and by working with you, they will be able to get one of the best products on the market along with the best price that you can find them. Don't be afraid to share your funeral story and be as relatable with your prospect as humanly possible. Finally, make sure you've got a solid close. The idea is to direct the prospect to pick an option without them giving you a knee-jerk objection, which is fine because if you're doing it right, you're going to be ready to overcome objections anyways. If you're not already a confident sales professional, you may need to pick up a couple of books on overcoming objections in sales and maybe like working on yourself first. When it comes to leads, there are several options. The trick is to have the best leads for your exact situation. You can buy internet or Facebook leads. And unfortunately, getting this type of lead on the phone is time consuming, guys, which is why we use a system where most of the clients set an appointment to speak with the agent after they fill out the lead form. Live transfers work okay when you can get enough of them. Unfortunately, the way live transfers work, you're either going to get a few of these each day, which is in no way enough to make a living even, or you get several transfers per hour, which doesn't make any sense. It doesn't work unless you have an office full of insurance agents who are selling, you know, out of the office, right? Television commercial leads are awesome, especially if they're the type of leads where the client sees the TV commercial, calls the 800 number, and you're the one answering the phone. The issue with this type of lead is that it's pretty much unavailable for independent agents. And even if you find an agency who can get them for you, they tend to be between like $65 and $85 each. For most insurance agents, the cost per presentation is too high with these type of leads. However, if you're good and your average premium per sale is around, I want to say $1,000 each, the TV leads will work. Senior Life Insurance Company has a system for their agents where you can get some of these inbound TV leads, but most of them will actually be like a little bit different. A TV lead where the client calls in and speaks with a Senior Life call center representative whose job is to like input the client's information into the computer for the agents to buy. And then the agent calls back the prospect shortly after they call in, which isn't too bad. 
This is not the same as a call-in lead though, where you, the agent, answers the phone when the clients call in requesting information about the burial insurance. Before I share some of my favorite insurance carriers and why, let's talk about startup funds money. I recommend that you do have at least three to five thousand dollars set aside or at least accessible on a credit card to start your insurance business. If you are selling the right carriers and you do start making sales immediately, you should see that money coming in immediately, right? I mean, that's how it's supposed to work. Some of the best carriers will either pay within a day or two of the client getting approved and others are gonna pay like once a week after the client has been approved. FYI, if you need to contract with any of the following carriers, you can contact me for contracting. I always wanna have a short conversation with any agent that I contract with though first, just to make sure you actually know what you're doing, you have a lead system, and or will actually use the carriers that you contract with. SBLI has a very new final expense telesales product called the Living Legacy. I love this thing. The application is short, the underwriting is super easy, the approval rates are very high, higher than most carriers. They take debit cards and direct express cards too. You can give level coverage to folks that have chronic breathing conditions, epilepsy, hepatitis C, kidney disease, lupus, multiple sclerosis, and even Parkinson's disease, and they have easy signature options for the clients. American Amicable, great company. They're gonna insure people from zero to 85 years old. They do have true social security billing, so they keep the clients on the books. They've got easy signature options and multiple options for the clients, and they've got one of the most competitive graded and modified products in the industry. RNA, Royal Neighbors of America, is probably the most diabetic friendly carrier in the industry too. They do true social security billing, and they've got some very unique benefits for the clients due to them being a fraternal insurance company. Then you've got Lumico. They're also diabetic friendly in many cases, similar to Royal Neighbors. They don't ask about insulin diabetics or diabetic neuropathy. They also take debit and direct express cards, and they've also got a few other niches like level coverage with folks with angina and epilepsy. I will say with Lumico, our experience hasn't been the greatest only because the approval percentages are lower than most carriers. As far as guaranteed issue is concerned, we recommend AIG and Great Western. They're both competitive, so that's pretty cool. However, I, I will say in most cases, AIG is probably going to be the better priced product. I like Great Western better though, because their product is actually, in my opinion, better for both the client and the agent in the event where death occurs within the first two years. Great Western is also the only true GI product that insures people under 50 years old as they insure folks between the ages of 40 and 80 years old. Guys, if you'd like a copy of the Telesales new agent file that I mentioned earlier in the video, just email me at doug at ufesonline.com. For more information on our remote top producer telesales platform, just shoot me an email at that same address. As always, when you put the needs of your clients first, everything else will usually fall right into place. Now get out there or get on that headset and just make sure whatever you do, you do something good for someone today. Happy hunting.